Hope King. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Hi, Hope. Please come with me. So what was it that drew you to light and shade, Hope? Well, I've heard great things about your company. And your name keeps popping up as being the best in the game when it comes to pushing boundaries for architecture. Yeah, and the free healthcare will really help with my mum right now. Your mum? Yeah. Um, she's been suffering with MS for a few years now. Well, I hope that all works out. And it says here you're from South London. Is that right? Yeah, Craydon. Right. And you went to Oxford, I can see here, which is doubly impressive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was a graph to get them employability credits. I mean, let's be honest, your CV speaks for itself, Hope. Thank you. You know, I really appreciate that, especially coming from someone Did like... you fill out your form? Yeah. Yeah. So um, I did fill out the form, but there was just one part I couldn't really... Struggling? Yeah, I was struggling with it. It was the ethnicity part. I didn't really know which box to tick. So where are you from, Hope? London. No, but where are you really from? Yeah, uh, Nigeria and Jamaica. Ooh, such a nice mix. And you know about the additional training before you start? Additional training? Yes, for BAME applicants. BAME? Yes. Since the revolution died down in 23, it's government guidelines that all BAME applicants undergo a small period of additional training for the necessary employability credits. Mm. No, um, I wasn't aware of this but I have the additional credits. Well, is it something you're willing to undergo? That sounds mad. Um, BAME doesn't categorize me. As you know, Hope, we have some really high profile customers at Light and Shade Enterprise. And well, we speak a certain language. The additional credits are necessary. It's important to us that we're all understanding of this communal language to ensure the best opportunities for all parties. You're quite an impressive candidate. I would hate for you to lose out on this opportunity.